I am Nick Shell, the living legend of hair loss. I will tell you a true story. Quite recently, I caught up with someone I grew up with. I've known my whole life, same age as me. And he kind of caught wind of my videos. And he says, hey, Nick, you got to tell me what I need to do, uh, you know, about my hair. You know, what, what can I do to, you know, keep from going bald or whatever. What am I, what am I supposed to do? And I thought he was kind of joking around. But now that a couple months have passed, I'm like, what if he was serious? And more importantly, what about for the rest of the world watching this video thinking, is there anything I can actually do if I am starting to notice that I'm possibly losing my hair? This is also uh, my response to a comment that I received this week. I made a video called, you will stop caring about going bald if and when you become confident in your own identity. Zach Morris, yes, Zach Morris, left me a comment saying, your hair looks good, what are you using? To which I responded, hair gel. And then he responded, alas, humus. Humus, hummus? No. Alas, humor is not one of your fortes, which maybe that was humorous what I just said because I tried to turn the word alas, alas, humor into hummus. Let's get to work. What I think is very relevant to do in this video now that you've had 90 seconds to take a look at my hair and perceive in your own mind if this looks decent or not. Of course, I'm filming this in my bathroom so that you can see a side view as well as a front view. I'm going to turn sideways to get, let you get a good side view there. And I'll do it again right here. There you go. So you've been able to see it from all angles. Now, I got a haircut about two and a half weeks ago. So, this is the aftermath of that, which is a good time to actually shoot this video. I don't want you to necessarily see fresh on the haircut. I want you to see what it looks like after. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to deconstruct my, my hair right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wet it, dry it, and fix it again to show you the process of how I get this look, which is very low maintenance and very basic. But I want you to see what it looks like before, and that's important, because what you're about to see when I deconstruct it, if, if you're new to this channel, it may actually surprise you. It may surprise you that actually my hair looks a lot different when it's not fixed this way, which again is very low maintenance. Okay, so have you assessed my hairline? If you saw me on the street, would you even really think, yeah, that guy's, he's kind of losing his hair. He's starting to lose his hair. He's got a receding hairline. His hair's kind of thinning on top. Would you even think that if you saw me on the street and didn't know who I am? So now that you've made your assessment, you have voted in your mind, you've locked in your vote, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct my hairdo and then redo it. I'm going to, I'm going to demolish the temple and then I'm going to rebuild it in three days is what I'm going to do. Now, for the record and for the barber, once they open back from COVID-19, roughly what I've got here is a, is a little over two inches on top. And then I, they did a number two clipper guard on the sides in the back. It's very basic. Now, granted, what they did is they brought it up a little bit higher here just because my hair goes straight out here. So to keep it from having like a wedge look, they brought it up a little bit higher to make sure that it didn't stick out. So that again, that it's low maintenance. And this is a disconnected part. In other words, it's not bl this side's blended, but this is not. So especially when you first get a haircut, it, it gives that differentiation. So to give the illusion that your hair on top is actually thicker than it is. That's why you keep it short on the sides and the back. So here we go. We're going to have some fun. Last chance though, to look at my hair and think, yeah, okay, for a guy who's turning 39 in a few weeks, he seems to have a lot of hair. Is he doing something special? And the answer is no, not other than what I'm about to show you. I'm not doing anything. I've never done anything as far as like Rogaine or Propecia or any of that stuff. I've never done anything like that. Uh, for the sake of the channel, I did experiment with peppermint oil and all that stuff, but it, it didn't do anything. And I knew it wouldn't, but for the sake of the channel and experimenting, uh, for my viewers, I did. So ultimately, and I was a vegan for five and a half years there for a while. I mean, but ultimately, I, I really believe none of that made a difference on my hair. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's destroy this hairline. Look how far it comes back. Look at that. That's how far it comes back. We've, we've got that going on. And it actually is thinner on top. And you're going to see that right now because I'm, I'm going to wet my hair. What I'm trying to do is create the effect 
as if I just came out of the shower. And I'm going to show you what it's like every day when I get out of the shower and I fix my hair. So there's what it's like. Actually, the funny thing is, I forgot my towel. I'm going to get my towel real quick. All right, that will be needed for this exercise. I'm trying to make this a 10 minute video. I think I can do it. So when my hair is completely wet and slicked back, which exposes the true hairline, this is what you're actually going to see. If I just walked around with this kind of hairstyle with a bunch of hair product, that's what it would actually look like. So much different from five and a half minutes ago when you were watching me. So there, there's what my hairline actually looks like. It does have a definite V right there. And you can see how far it comes back there. It is also thinner on top, which is more obvious when I comb it. Maybe not so much in this lining, but it definitely is thinner on top. Okay, so that's what my hair looks like when I get out of the shower. And then here's how I restore it back to the beginning of this video. I just get my towel. And I just kind of dry it while parting it to the side that I part it to. And then what I do is I get my wife's cheap hair dryer, which it's funny because I, I admit a couple years ago, even probably a year ago, I had a complex about using a hair dryer. I'm like, Ugh, that's kind of like high maintenance. I don't want to be a high maintenance guy. I don't want to care about my hair, but actually it's quite the opposite I've learned. It's actually very low maintenance because it doesn't take much time at all to fix my hair in the morning, especially with this hairstyle and doing this method. So I can have my, I can get out of the shower and within 90 seconds, my hair is already fixed. It's slowed down the process, obviously, because I'm talking to you in this video and describe it. So here's all I do. See what I did there? While I was blow drying it, I got a comb. I used the wide tooth and I just kind of loosely combed it in the direction. So here's what it looks like. Then what I do, I get the cheapest hair gel. This costs like two bucks. It lasts me a year. LA looks. I get the strongest hold they have. And I do like two little pea sized drops like that. And that's just how I measure it. I made that up. Rub it into my fingers here. And then I just kind of follow the path that I created there like this. So I'm just kind of giving it a little bit of a volume, a little bit of a lift there. And then when I make sure, because my hair grows so straight on the sides, it's wavy on top, but straight on the sides. So I just kind of make sure that it, I kind of pat that down and kind of give it some direction there. So it's not a whole lot of product. And this, in theory, lasts me all day. I mean, just imagine at the beginning of this video, imagine how my hair looked. Imagine how it looked. It looks a little bit better now, but granted, it held all day, you know, I, that was 12 hours ago that I fixed my hair and here I am 12 hours later. So there you go. I hope you find this to be helpful, but to answer the question of, you know, what's my secret? What am I doing about my hair? This real secret is a lot of guys, this is the situation they're dealing with. It's just that they figured out the most suitable hairstyle, the most flattering hairstyle. That's going to also be low maintenance. So trust me, when I go to the hair, Again, when they all reopen, when we're over this coronavirus thing, I go to Great Clips. Anyone who watches my videos regularly knows that. I go to Great Clips. What do they charge? 14 bucks, and then I tip them like three or four or whatever. That's it. I go like six, every six weeks. Same basic haircut. That's all it is. It's nothing special. Again, about two, two and a half inches on top. Number two, guard on the sides and the back. This side's blended, but with the part where it's uh, parted, it's not, it's a disconnected part, but not a hard part. That's it, I don't even have them texturize my hair. Like that's how basic this is. And you saw the way I towel dry it. I blow dry it real quickly. It takes less than 90 seconds. In fact, I should probably do a video again of how quickly I can fix my hair because people will like that and appreciate it. So I guess I guess I will make a spin-off video <laughs> doing what I just said. But as far as the secret, it's just a matter of downplaying what you have to work with, not worrying about it, you know. And granted, as I get older, there's a good chance my hairline will continue to go back. I'll keep this basic hairstyle until it doesn't really work anymore, and then I'll shave my head or do whatever, who cares. Just all matter of focusing on what you can control, not on what you can, not worrying about it, 
not spending money, not being high maintenance about it, because that is the true alpha male way to do things. That's the Nick Shell way to do things. Your comments belong right here.